going on everybody uncle floyd here i'm gonna play some neverwinter i'm doing gift exchange i want to make sure players that know know how to do this shit it's a little bit confusing and there's some tricks to get the most out of it how do you maximize your rewards winter festival I hope with as you're many tunes as you want back during sim when you get your daily voucher you get yourself a free starlight parcel don't open these until you've opened 20 starlight bags starlight bags drop when you do Simril gift exchange, but you're only getting one of these gifts of Simril per day. Once you look through the telescope and talk to the astrologer is the Star of Fortune. Most importantly, it's exchangeable for a gift of Simril. That's only really valuable if you intend to also do gift exchanges on that tune. So the trick here is you open a starlight bag, but it counts as one parcel. Do the gift exchange get 20 starlight bags open those and then you can start opening starlight parcels why the best rewards you want to be unbound right here gift of simril that's all you spend your stars on and then what do you do with that gifts of simrils gift gifts to other players in your party if they're not in your group it's not going to give anything and you don't get anything when you give gifts so the goal with the gift of simril is get in a full group of five and make sure that everybody in the group also has 5 or 10 or whatever number to share. That way, you give 10, you get 40 of the rewards. If you do that, the odds are you're going to get enough Starlight Bags to repeat the process. Do 10, 20, 50, or you stay until you run out or until you get sick of doing it. That's how you get the most rewards. Gift Exchange also gives you Star Fortune, which gives you more Gift of Simril. How the hell do you get enough gifts to start getting starlight bags right now there's only one way to do it you get in a group and they're going to give you they're going to say hey gift group and they don't expect you to share gifts well cool that's what you need you're going to need somebody to give you gifts without expecting you to offer any in exchange the alternative there are players who are offering gift groups for pay right they'll say oh i want prez wards or i want this or that now, some players think it's a scam, but it's not a scam at all. It is, in fact, the only way to get ahead so that you can farm the event for the maximum rewards as soon as possible. So if you don't want to have to log in every day and wait, say, 20 days and do a full group, 10 each, at least two times over, you realize it's a three-week event, right? So if somebody says free gifts, absolutely jump on it. Let's see what the zone chat says. This tune is Vegeta BR. Want to trade 20 gifts for 10 wards. If you pay this guy 10 prez wards to get into his exchange, he's going to pop 20. Everyone else in there is going to have paid. They're not going to be opening any gifts of Simril. You're only going to get 20. So when you do the exchange and you get the stars, you get the gifts. As soon as you get to 10, you're done paying. Now you're going to get in the group with other players who are exchanging gifts. But you no longer have to pay. Now if you have multiple tunes, there's another way to do it. You switch tunes in the middle of the gift exchange. I have a hundred gifts of Simril on my rogue. And none on my wizard. But at least give yourself a chance for the unbounds. So this guy's just these guys are just flat out begging for gifts. Because they don't realize. Gifts shouldn't be free. Players work to get those gifts. Gifts are valuable to other players. Why the fuck should they be free? So we've got this beggar. We got this beggar. This guy's doing 36 gifts for 15 prez. Like Last year, I got enough starlight bags. I saved 20 starlight bags. The first thing I did was open those during this event. And if you look at my starlight parcel now, it says I've opened 22. Starlight bag openings count towards starlight parcel openings. The drop rate is pretty much ass. But at least they're unbound rewards. That four chamber would be an AD jackpot. Ready? Let's go. Oh, I got boots and lanterns for copper and another gift of Simril. So they won't stop spamming the chat. It's their belief, if you pay to get into a gift exchange group, that you're getting ripped off. Now, if you can get into a group for free, that's great. But Alex Harper says, gifts are worthless. Big Dog says, gifts are worthless. Really? Gifts are worthless? Wow. What the hell are these players talking about? Priscilla says, gifts should be free, but you know what Priscilla doesn't say? Come to me for free gifts. Priscilla doesn't have any free gifts to give. 
your goal, if you want to farm this event, is to get to at least 10, maybe 15, maybe 20 gifts as quickly as possible. But these players seem to think they're giving good advice. And what they're not giving, you know what they're not giving? They're not giving gifts exchange. Instead of Remnant saying, hey, gifts should be free. No. Remnant says, I'm offering a free gift group right now. Come and get it. Remnant has 20 free gifts. This is what you want to look for. If you don't want to spend Prez words, if you don't want to spend scroll of life, then look for somebody offering free gifts. Oh, gifts are valuable. Pay or wait. That's Those are the options, folks. Wait for someone to give you free gifts or wait for 20 days. You do your daily quests or just pay for the damn things, right? Like a, like a sane person realizes stuff, valuable things aren't free. The free stuff isn't always as good as it needs to be and it's not always available when you need it, is it now? But hey, these players, they, they got it all figured out. Now, I said my piece. It makes me a dick, doesn't it? Because they're not free. What I need to do is I need to get in a group, offer the gifts first, and then have the group allow me to switch. My bard re-enters the group, and then they do the exchange. How do you give gifts to your other alts? That's what I just explained, Sakara. Now, they might say, you give gifts first. Give your gifts. The other four members of the group wait for you to switch. A new tune that doesn't have the gifts and then they open their gifts. So I'm gonna give away 10, I'm gonna to switch to my bard back into that group, and then I'm gonna receive gifts, that's how. It's totally legit, but you need those other players to take the time. I might even offer, dude, I'll give you 15 gifts if you wait for me, then I don't wanna wait around to do you a favor. Or you might find someone just giving away free gifts. But keep this in mind, there's gonna be scumbags who say they have gifts to exchange, get in a group, and then when it's their turn to exchange gifts, they disappear. Then they'll make excuses. They got DC'd or they had the wrong character or blah, blah, blah. Because they're lying scumbags, right? And they want to take advantage of other players. If you're in a group that's sketch, you know, with an unproven player, they can make that mistake one time and then they'll be called out as a scammer. If you're in a group, the, somebody that knows what they're doing and they run it properly, they're going to put the new guy up first and say, hey, new guy, you exchange your gifts first. It says 10x gift group giving 15 then wait for alt please pm invite one of five players who ask questions of what is this about switching to alt they're not veteran players they don't know how to effectively uh move gifts of simral from a, a tune that has a too many like my rogue does to a tune that has almost none like my bard lady darkstar wants in the dark tenno let's do an inspection here's one way to protect yourself this player seemed to know what they're doing 55k half naked drow hell yeah she's invited let's go alex seat boss inspection is in order 22k sorry alex no you're not invited i'm not taking a chance we got another taker melandira 49k wizard very respectable a respectable wizardess okay she's invited to the bridge what is that confounded bridge? That's number 15. It's a pain in the ass, right? I'm going to meet Bozo so they can all give me, give my bard gifts, right? My rogue gave everybody gifts. Now my bard gets the gifts. Their time is valuable. So I gave them free gifts, five extras. I started on my rogue. I exchanged 15. They waited for me to come back. I came back with my bard who had three gifts. Got six more uh, gifts because of Star Fortune plus um, Starlight Bags. If I go and exchange one of these, I'll have 10 more gifts. You know, nobody said it was going to be easy, but it's not that hard either. And it doesn't have to suck. There's not going to be scammers and all the crybabies in the chat saying, oh my God, it should be free. Well, you know, good luck getting them for free. So you got to work for that shit. And you got to be cool with the other players. Don't be a dick and don't ask, you know, don't expect shit to be free. And then the, the event works out fine. Know what to look out for with scammers. Make sure if you're not sure, they go first. Keep an eye on the chat in case somebody's getting called out for scamming any other players. Now, the question is, did I get to a point where I can just keep restacking my gifts? I'd say you run about 20 to be safe because it can fluctuate. Some rounds will go poorly and you won't, be in a, you won't get enough bags. You won't get enough stars of fortune to restock a full 10 better off to have at least 20 before you get into these groups depending on how many times you want to do it 
I got six gifts. Did I get any stars? Oh, let's fucking go. I've already got it. I'm good to go. I'm on the roll now. But you got to make sure everybody's on point. Keep track of who's next. Make sure everybody's ready before you start. If you got to keep count, keep count. If you got to tell people when it's their turn, you do it. You need a person in the group to manage it. If you don't have that, it all goes to shit. You don't know who went. You don't know how many. You don't know if they're going to do it again. You don't know if they're switching alts. You don't know what the fuck's going on. If you're running the group and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, let somebody else who knows go through the hassle. It's a pain in the ass. I don't like doing it. Oh, I just got 20 Prez Wards. What? Two Starlight Bags in a row. That doesn't suck. I'm Uncle Krumpus. Uncle Krumpus is here to ruin Christmas for everyone. I'll see y'all next time, alright? GG.